you guys, it's Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less. I know it looks like I am in Candyland right now and I sorta kind of am. I am at my local wholesaler, David Christopher, and he has an amazing shop, especially at Christmas time. Like, I love coming in here, I get tons of inspiration. A lot of you guys have asked, you know, um, about the designs and Christmas trees that I've shared in the past. So I'm sharing with you today my biggest secret. I'm gonna show you Christmas tree heaven, if there was like a such a thing as Christmas tree heaven. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show you guys like some of the things that are trending this year, the trees that he has designed. Um, for those of you guys who love home decor, interior decor, um, event planning or decorating your home for the holidays like this video is definitely going to be a, a sweet treat for you so stay tuned as we go through all the Christmas trees you don't want to miss this video especially if you're getting ready to decorate your home for the holidays so I hope you guys enjoy this I have so much in store stay tuned okay you guys so as you enter into his shop the first thing you see is a gingerbread house that they built and I just think it's so amazing. Here is the huge gingerbread man here on my left and gingerbread Christmas tree here on my right and they have the humongous candy canes as well. So we are going to enter into the first room, the gingerbread house filled with candy and beautiful Christmas tree okay you guys so here is David he is the mastermind and the designer behind all these wonderful ornaments and trees that you're gonna see today so I am I know that gingerbread is on trend for 2019 right yes. so if they are looking to do a gingerbread Christmas tree like what do you feel like they absolutely need to make that possible well really what you need is a lot of elements that have white and uh, things that look like icing, like you can see the detail on these holly leaves here. They've got a what we consider a candy frost. It's a white mica, uh, and then it has the outline and the, the white icing there. Those are really great. Anything that's got like a red and white twisted that's gonna, gonna look like icing, uh, candy cookies, um, those are really popular right now. And, the gingerbread thing has kind of taken off. There's all the, the baking shows on uh, Netflix and, you know, the holiday baking championships and everything. Everybody wants that cookie feel because you want that royal icing look and that you can almost decorate with, but it's edible. And this is kind of our our version of taking that backwards. It's things that look edible, but you can't eat. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And David, you design some of these, a lot of these ornaments that we yes. see here today. Okay. I, I usually go to China and, and develop a lot of the products because we have an import company. Uh, we sell to stores all over the country and then we have our, our retail store here. Um, but yeah, I, I design the, uh, the candy, candy holly with the giant pom poms in it. And that's just a really good stem. Um, Ooh. because you you get a lot out of some of these pieces we try to make decorating trees easy for you so you've got you know a gap here and you can just place this inside that spot you're trying to fill and then you've got something that really stands out in that space absolutely so if you guys are interested in any of these pieces the gingerbread man this beautiful holly um, that he just shared with you guys the different candies they are on their website and I will be sure to leave their website down in the, the in the um, description box below and I'll also pin it in the comments so next up we are gonna head to the red car the red truck I think that is really on trend so we're gonna go check that out next Okay, you guys, so I know that red Christmas, this red Christmas truck is like all the rave this year. And when I saw this tree, even though I'm not like the rustic farmhouse person, I absolutely fell in love with this tree. And I know many of you guys may have that rustic or farmhouse theme for your Christmas tree this year. So I definitely wanted to share this with you. One of the things I want to point out is like, don't be afraid to add big things in the tree. Cause you see as like the, 
the sled here, he has a big truck here and a truck here. And when you use super big pieces, you don't have to buy a lot of them because they are very massive. Like in floral arrangements, we call the bigger flowers masses or mass flowers. Well, these ornaments are like mass ornaments and you don't have to have as many to make a huge statement on your tree. So I'm gonna have David to kind of talk to you guys about um, how like his, behind the design of this tree so that he can give you guys some tips and pointers for those of you who are in love with this red truck in love with all things rustic and farmhouse so that you can create a very similar look in your home okay so one of the things that people are always asking me is is this ornament too large for my tree and i always tell people there's nothing too large for your tree <laughs> so i like to use things that really embellish the tree and make things three-dimensional and stick out from the tree. As you can see, the sled here is kind of coming downhill out of the tree, and the trucks are in the tree, and then we will add really large balls and finials to the tree because there's really nothing that I found you can't add into your tree. Um, you just have to be careful how you space it, and sometimes you have to tuck it deep into the tree uh, just to make the the size work so as you can see the sled is really um, all the way back to the center pole on the tree uh, where the metal part of the sled comes back and that helps with the proportion to let it stick out just enough to make it feel like it's going downhill as if a sled would and then we're using the the rope here and basically I just tied a piece of the pine from the tree to the rope to help hold it in place. And you can always use some floral wire uh, if you need a little extra stability. But really, as long as you, if you've got a really good tree that has branches that stick out from it that allow your ornaments to hang, because you don't want them just leaned in the tree, you really want them to hang so that you get that kind of dripping effect from your finials and uh, the pine cones, things like that. Um, if you don't have a tree that has that much depth in it, sometimes you just need to add some extra branches. We, we'll grab pine branches that have really thick wire in them, and then we'll add ornaments onto that branch so that you get that extra three-dimensional look. It's not just your cookie cutter tree where everything's flat on the tree. Everything really has a lot of depth perception to it awesome tips david i love like how genius is it to get the sled the sled to like go downhill like it would like it would in real life like i would have never thought of that that is so awesome so you guys again um he sells all of these pieces on his website so if you are into the red truck and um kind of like farmhouse and um what's it, rustic decor mm -hmm. like this would be perfect for you so we are going to go take a look at another tree okay guys so next up is this retro tree i absolutely love the colors the turquoise reds and whites um very unusual themed tree so for those of you guys who love things retro all things retro this would be an amazing tree um uh, some amazing decor and an amazing tree to do this year now one of the things that really stands out to me in this tree is i like the christmas um the the house like the red house and then i love the ribbon the ribbon really stands out and one of the things that i know about their ribbon is that um, it is an indoor outdoor ribbon it's wired ribbon it looks really great it holds up well and um, they also sell ribbon here so I wanted to um, get David just kind of talk about this really quickly and then we will move on to some more trees Same. we do have a lot of different ribbon choices uh, here and one of the things that I really like to do with ribbon is I like to layer them not only in different colors but in different sizes. So as you can see here, I've got a four inch, a two and a half inch, and a one and a half inch ribbon. So you get a lot of different uh, textures because this is a, this is actually a clear ribbon with a tinsel edge. This is actually a, um, just a, a washed polyester that's got glitter on it. And then this is a really deep, uh, luxurious velvet with a kind of a diamond tinsel down the middle of it and as she said these are all wired really 
thick wire in them so if you bend them in a certain shape they'll stay in that shape and that's that's something that really helps it stand out from everything else is if you want ribbon that's going to stay in a particular shape or in place it where you put it or when you're tying a bow a really good thick wire in the ribbon helps that stand out a lot and then we've got um, just a lot of different textures in this tree this is actually a flocked tree so it's a green tree with white snow on it and that really helps us get a good base for everything else that's going on top of it and makes the red turquoise and silver stand out more okay you guys so i absolutely love this one um again i will link everything down below but i just wanted you guys to see like the mastermind behind this design i am so fortunate to have someone like him in my area where i can go find these unique pieces i'm so proud of the fact that someone local can actually you know actually goes out and designs these pieces and ships and sells them all over the world and now you can bring them into your home so um this is absolutely amazing i just wanted to share with you guys like some of the pieces and the setup on how um the shop is kind of set up it's just so aesthetically pleasing and then they even have the retro phone here. I love that as well, which is actually a clock. So those are some really unique pieces that you can add. Another um, fun fact that I love about the way that this is set up is that on both sides, like he decorates one side of the tree one way and then another side of a tree a different way. So if you are a lover of all things um, nautical, I love this mint and turquoisey tree that he has here that has like the sailor anchor and the lighthouse and little fish and all those things um especially if you have like a beach home or a vacation home that you'll be spending christmas in and so he just decorated the back of this tree different to showcase these different ornaments okay so here is a celtic garden tree I think this is so absolutely gorgeous, so beautiful, and so elegant. And the greens are very, very much so on trend this year. But look at this amazing ribbon. Like, look at that. Look at how amazing this tree looks. So absolutely stunning. And I love the fact that he has like signage in this tree. It says, oh, Christmas tree. I don't know if you guys can see that so beautiful okay you guys so this space is so beautiful so now I am going to give you guys a musically guided tour of the remaining trees in the shop and um, this video is already super long so I am going to do a second video where David does a tutorial using the ribbon that he has to show you guys how to um, tie a bow and use ribbon in your Christmas arrangements and in your trees. So um, be sure to check out that video on this Sunday. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Not only green when summer's here, but also when it's cold and drear. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, such pleasure do you bring me. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, such pleasure do you bring me. For every year this Christmas tree Brings to us such joy and glee Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree 
such pleasure do you bring me? for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this shop with me and then all the tips the professional tips that david offered you guys along the way i will be leaving his website down in the description box below and i will also pin it in the comments just in case you guys don't want to plow through everything in the description box i hope you got tons of ideas and inspiration thank you guys so much for all of your unwavering and continuous support and i hope you guys have such a fun and festive time decorating your trees and decorating your home this holiday season thank you guys so much again for watching and until next time it's melanie with living luxuriously for less cheers <music>